Today, WRAL Studios dropped the first two episodes of its latest podcast, What Remains. It's, it's a crime. It's one of those, uh, th those crime podcasts. If you're a crime junkie, you don't want to miss this fascinating show where true crime meets forensic science. WRAL's Amanda Lamb is the host of this new show and gives us a peek at what we can expect. It's hard to imagine dying, and no one knows who you are. Unidentified skeletal remains at this lab at NC State are mysteries for scientists like forensic anthropologist Dr. Ann Ross, who want to put a name to the bones. At any given time, there are 40,000 sets of unidentified remains in the U.S. People who had lives, and now what's left of them sits in a box somewhere, waiting for someone, a scientist, an investigator, a loved one, to make a connection, to identify them, and give them back some of their dignity, even in death. Ross is one of a handful of people across the country trying to make some of these connections. Axes, hatchets, machetes. Machetes, yeah. These are some of the tools she uses to try and figure out how someone was murdered what may have made its mark on a person's bones. Ross hopes her work will help get answers for heartbroken families who, in some cases, have spent decades not knowing what happened to their loved ones. Why is it important, in some cases, to go all the way to the bone, that the bone becomes the more uh, telling part of the story? Depends on where on the body you can see patterns of instruments that are used and you can see them more readily on bone in a lot of cases. From WREL Studios, this is What Remains, where we'll dig into the stories of connecting unidentified human remains to the missing and the murdered. I'm Amanda Lamb. And you can find the first two episodes of What Remains in Apple Podcasts or your favorite podcast app right now. We're going to be dropping weekly episodes through mid-August. You can also go to whatremainspodcast.com to find additional information, blogs, and transcripts for each episode.